Hello everyone out there in YouTube land and welcome back to my channel for another enormous, enormous Dollar Tree haul. Yes, I went back to the Dollar Tree today. I went to like three Dollar Trees. And just when you thought I couldn't find any more stuff, I found more stuff. So I've been cleaning my apartment to make room for all these extra goodies. And I wanted to have a snack but I can't have a snack until I haul all this stuff because all my snacks are in the hall. So I have an assortment of just about everything, home decor, cleaning products, uh, beauty products, everything. Okay, so I'm gonna get started. So the first thing that I got was, I know, like I really needed it. It's a magnet and it says, I hate Mondays. Of course we all do. Um, so I'm going to put that on my fridge. This is a really thick magnet. At first I thought it was in a box, but it's not. It's just a thick magnet. It says, I hate Mondays. So I got that. Then I got, I know it's totally random. You guys have asked me if I've bought any Dollar Tree candles, and I haven't up until this point. And then today I saw they had Skittles candles and random no-name candles. Um, and I'm not a big sweets person, but I figured I'd try this out. So I got the Krispy Kreme Original Glazed Donut Scented Candle. And it smells really, really good. Mm, it smells just like a glazed donut, which I would tend not to like, but I, I really wanted to try this. And they had other ones. They had other kinds of donuts, like they had a spice donut and... A powdered donut, but I figured I'd go with the original glazed, so I got that. Then, as if I needed more lip balm, I got the chapstick Aloha Coconut. I haven't really seen chapstick so much in there. I know they have like the bootleg chapsticks, but I haven't seen like the actual chapstick. So I got Aloha Coconut. Then I got these Protein Boost shakes or drinks whatever you want to call them i'm anxious to see how these are i know i i'm so not used to this camera okay so protein boost and this is in the mixed berry and it's uh, i got two of them and it says 10 grams of protein and zero sugar so we'll see how those are i'll have to try them out See if they're hoard worthy and maybe go back and pick up some more. So two of these. Then I got, because if you know me and Malcolm, you know that Malcolm sheds everywhere. And I'm in the process of cleaning up all his dog hair. And it's just, forget it. So anyway, I got this extra sticky um, lint roller. It says ideal for pet hair, lint, and dust. So I picked this up, which I really needed. And then finally, um, well not finally, because I have so much more stuff, but finally I was able to find this product. You guys know that I've been hauling like crazy the Glade Matcha Garden Green Tea and Aloe um, Room Spray, right? I have, this is the first time I finally, finally was able to find the stupid cone one of the Glade um, you know, a little twisty deodorant thing to, uh, to put in a room. The first time and the only one that they had in the matcha garden. So I was happy I was able to get this. And some, uh, some of you guys in the UK have told me that you found this overseas and it's called Bamboo Garden. So just a heads up for any of the UK people. Uh, you may see it as Bamboo Garden. Okay, so then, because I didn't know that I already had like four bottles of hydrogen peroxide, I got another bottle. This is a smaller bottle, like good for travel size, maybe keep it in the car. A uh, spray bottle of hydrogen peroxide, because if you're like me, I'm accident prone and always needing some hydrogen peroxide. Then I found this frame, I guess you would call it framed art. Um... It's like, okay, it's a little cheap and cheesy looking, but I have a feeling it'll go great in my bathroom. So it just says, it's framed and it says Paris Flea Market. Um, I saw somebody else haul one 
that was really pretty that said a mermaid uh, sleeps here, which would have been really nice, but they did not have that one. So I got the Paris Flea Market. They had these other ones that were like on canvas that said uh, she leaves some sparkle wherever she goes or something. But I was like, that doesn't really match my decor and where would I put it? But this, this matches, I think would, it would go good in the bathroom. So, or anywhere. Cause I have like that 1950s kind of retro style in my apartment. So I got that. I'm running out of places to put this stuff because I have so much of it. Then I got this fan. This is like a running gag between me and my coworker. He's always hot, but he's always wearing like layers, like he's got on his suit and, and, and I guess he wears an undershirt under there. And then he's got the suit, the tie, and, and all this stuff. And, and of course he's hot all the time. So the running gag was I would get him like these um, lacy fans, like these dollar fans. So I didn't find a lacy fan this time. He always ends up breaking them or losing them or whatever. But anyway, I found this fan. I might just keep it for myself. Can you guys see that? It's like a Japanese fan. And you just, well, after I take it out of the bag. But yeah, and it's on a, it's a fan on a stick. So I might use it for myself or I might give this to him as part of our running gag. Um, but it's really nice. They had another one where it was a woman playing a flute. Um, but I like this one a lot better. So then I got some snacks and things. Okay, so last time I hauled this, it was really, really good, and I decided to get another one. And I'm probably, uh, when I get my next paycheck, going to go back and buy lots more of these types of snacks. So this is Imperial Nuts Cranberry Blend. And this is Peanuts, Raisins, Cranberries, Almonds, and Pumpkin Seeds. Really, really good. And then I decided to try this one, which I hadn't seen before. And this is the Imperial Nut Sunshine Blend. And it's banana chips, cranberries, almonds, cashews, and blueberries. So if this is good, I would definitely want to pick up more of these because they make excellent snacks. And then as far as other snacks, I got this. Nutty Naturals, Omega-3 Mix, always fresh. And this is got like, I don't know what's in it. Uh, it's, oh here, peanuts, cranberries, almonds, walnuts, cashews, raisins. Um, and then it says peanut and or cottonseed oil and salt. Um, oh, I hope it's not salted. Yeah, I don't like them when they're salted. Maybe it won't be that much salt. So I got that, this. Then, I want to show you these other snacks before I get to this other stuff. I picked up these once before and I really, really love them. They, they're better than chips. They are, they are even better than potato chips. So this is the So Natural Freeze-Dried Apple Slices. They are excellent. They even have freeze-dried peach slices, but I really, really like the apple slices. So I picked up four. I definitely plan on going back and getting more of these. These are really great snacks. They're filling, and the whole bag is only 60 calories. So, love, love, love these. These are definitely going to be in my favorites for this month. Now, what else did I get? I'm trying to save, like, the best for last. Um, okay. Oh, here. I picked up another one of these. This is definitely hoard worthy. I started using it today and it's really good. Like I had a, um, a mug that I was using for my coffee, but then one day I decided to put my oatmeal in it and I didn't clean it right away and all the oatmeal got stuck to it and got all hard and nasty and everything. I put some of this in there, this palm olive, and it took it right out. I just soaked it with a little hot water and the palm olive, and it's really excellent. And it says soft for hands. It really is very silky and luxurious. And it's almond milk and blueberry. And I just love the smell. I bought one of these the other day. I have it on my sink. Can you see it there? It's, I can't point. There it is. Um, and I love it, and I definitely had to pick up another one, and I may be picking up more of this. Um, it's just great. 
really great. Okay, so what else did I get? I got another one of these collapsible containers, but instead of a cube, I got a rectangle, which I don't know if I'll just throw my extra makeups in here or what I'm gonna do with this, and it, it got it in brown. The other two that I picked up, I had gotten them in purple, but I wanted to try this one in the brown. So there's that. Oh, then of course I picked up, they only had one. I picked up another Suddenly Salad in Classic. Now all they have left is ranch and bacon, which I don't want. Okay, then what else? What should I go to next? Okay, I found these socks. I know, really digging the bottom of the barrel when you have to buy socks at the Dollar Tree. So these are for size nine to 11, and I usually wear nine and a half because I have big ass feet. Um, this, it just, it has a sloth. It's so random and bizarre. It has a sloth on it and it just says hang. I don't know. I just thought that it was, it was cute and different and yeah. So I got these. Then I got another pair of socks because I love cacti. Um, and this is for size six to 11. I hope they fit. And they're just cacti. So, yeah. So I got these. Then I picked up some of the White Rain. I know, I have so much of this stuff. So many shampoos and body washes and all kinds of stuff that I need to be using instead of buying. So I got White Rain Kids 3-in-1 with the shark on it. it says um, Pure Splash. So it was 3-in-1. Shampoo, conditioner, and body wash, you know, for the ultimate lazy. Um, yeah, it says gentle on sensitive skin, dye-free, paraben-free, hypoallergenic. So, it just has like a fresh scent to it. It doesn't really have too much of a smell. I, I, I want to try it. I don't know. The, the, not a shark. It's a dolphin. It, it just lured me in with the packaging. Okay, so. Whatever, I'm gonna try it. Then I got some boring stuff here. I got some liquid plumber because I told you, well, this is Mr. Plumber. This is like the bootleg one. I told you the water is not going down in my sink in my bathroom too fast, so I may have to use this. Um, you get a big bottle for a dollar. And then, of course, I'm doing some cleaning around the house and I needed more paper towels and thank God they had the ones. These, would, these are the big rolls. 100 sheets, strong and absorbent. Not the ones that I had got the last time with that ugly baby on them with the sauce on his face. Ooh. Um, okay, yeah, you guys who've watched my channel know what I'm talking about. Then I got this, still got more stuff. Of course I had to get the kids anti-cavity fluoride rinse in bubble gum because why not, right? I mean, I have the Listerine one, and this is a Shored brand, and they carry a lot of stuff by this brand. Yeah, so um, I use the Listerine, and it's harsh and minty, and I want to try the bubble gum and see how it is. So I got that. Then I got these cute Band-Aids. Uh, you guys know that the Emoji um, movie is coming out soon. It looks kind of cute. Anyway, so I picked up these Emoji Band-Aids, of course, because who doesn't need a band-aid with a duty emoji on it of course and this is what they look like i hope there is a duty emoji in there because he's my favorite the duty emoji is my favorite emoji right there so i got that then i also got these um i picked up these uh drink mixes in the supermarket i get the crystal light but they're more than a dollar obviously in the supermarket. They don't have Crystal Light in the Dollar Tree, but they did have Diet Snapple, Singles to Go, and Raspberry Tea. And what I do is I take my bottle here. When I get sick of just drinking regular old water, I take my bottle, which I bought in the Dollar Tree, and this actually has Crystal Light Fruit Punch in it. Oh, that was gross. I mean, me doing that, not the drink. Um, yeah, so. I fill up my water bottle here and I put in a packet when I get tired of the plain water. So I got two of the raspberry tea. I got a lot of stuff. Then I got this perfume completely random and without the box. 
I saw it and I sprayed it on myself and I liked it. It's this brand called European American Designs and it's in the scent Vermilion. I don't, oh look, you can see my face there. Yeah, I have no idea what the box looks like and it was a little bit used, but for a dollar, I don't care. And um, trying to see where the hole is for the spray so I don't spray myself in the face. It just smells really good. It reminds me of my mother's perfume, the Oscar de la Renta perfume. That's just called Oscar de la Renta. It smells really amazing. Like, hoard worthy amazing. For a Dollar Tree brand, really good. I'm, I may, may just have to pick up more of this when I get paid. So good. If you can find this, Vermilion, definitely try it. So, smells amazing. Amazing. Okay, yeah, I was just looking at the band-aids and I just put it towards me and look, poop emojis. Okay. Mm, love this perfume. The only thing about it is it doesn't stay on very, very long. You have to like reapply. Ah, oh, delicious. Anyway, then I needed some markers because I cross off the dates on my calendars and I don't know where my markers went. So I got these. These are color scented markers. It says peace and calm, right? So, it says scratch, smell, and experience. Mmm, doesn't really smell like anything. It's the scented felt tip pens. It doesn't say what they're supposed to smell like. Median tip. Anyway, they're blue and orange, and they're really pretty. And this was like in the school supply section. I'm smelling that perfume, and I'm just in love with it. Ugh. Then I didn't even get to my favorite item yet. Okay, so then I got this bag. I was thinking of putting my favorites in it so that I could, um, you know, collect my favorites for the end of the month. And anyway, I've been wanting one of these for a while. It's just a little tote bag. They had a, they have them in different colors: blue, uh, purple, pink. Um, I don't remember the other colors, but I just wanted one of these tote bags to put um, my favorites in or my lunch. You know, as good as a lunch bag. It has new bag smell. Mm. Okay, I have so much stuff. This is such a big haul. Okay, so then I got, I know I said I wasn't going to put Dollar Tree makeup on my face. Well, that doesn't sound right. I said I wasn't going to use Dollar Tree foundation. But I figured I'll try it. So I got the Sassy and Chic Beauty Benefit Cream. So I guess that's like a foundation, right? And I got it in light to pale, because, yeah, I'm light and pale. It says multi-action skincare and makeup. I have no idea how this is going to be, if it's going to be awful or what. So I figured I'd try it out, because, you know, I'm just trying out all the Dollar Tree makeup. Then I got these pens, which I thought were super cute. There's three designs there. They're black medium ink pens, I think. And this was in the school supply section. They already have school supplies. It's not even the end of July. So I picked these up. Then I got this book. This is Jot, uh, Jot Notebook. Because I have in my bag a steno pad that I always keep with me that's got my notes from work but then sometimes I'm following my boss around and I can't be holding like my tape recorder my camera my pens and like the steno pad and everything so I figured this is good just to keep in my pocket because while I'm following my boss inevitably he'll tell me to write down somebody's name or write down a date or write down a time and so I don't have to get out the big steno pad I could just keep this in my pocket um, it's really nice and it has, um, it's just a book and then it has a, a pen right there. So I could just keep this handy in my pocket and just write down whatever he needs me to write down, um, instead of having that clunky old steno pad. So I got that and of course everything is a dollar. 
know why I feel the need to say that. You guys already know that. So I'll be using that. And they didn't, I didn't see these in other colors. I think they just had black. Now I get to my favorite, favorite thing. This is the cutest thing ever. I know you guys are not, I may not agree with me, but I think it's the most adorable thing ever. It's these sharpeners and they're shaped like piranhas. Really? Okay, so they're piranha fish. And you put the pencil or crayon in the piranha's mouth and it says piranha belly collects shavings these are so freaking cute i mean they are so adorable how could you not love them and i only saw these in one dollar tree they did not have them and it was the dollar tree close to where the guest lives not the ones by me so they had these in different colors they had one that was like blue and orange and i think they had like one that was pink and purple or something but for some reason the pink and green combination just was the cutest to me so of course i had to get two to use and two to save they are so so cute so yeah where else but the dollar tree would you find Piranha, piranha sharpeners. So cute. So adorbs. So, if you have little children, or if you're a little child yourself, or a child at heart, and you want to pick up some piranha sharpeners, go and check those out. I hope you enjoyed this massive, massive haul from the Dollar Tree. So, like I said, now when I go back, it'll just be to pick up more of the same um, depending on how I like the products. Definitely going to pick up more Apple Snacks. Uh, definitely going to pick up more Vermilion if I see it. And um, maybe, you know, paper towels and all kinds of stuff like that. But I don't think I'm going to be hauling any new products because I think I've scoured the aisles sufficiently. I mean, I, I looked up and down every single aisle. And this Dollar Tree haul, combined with the ones that I've done like practically every day or every other day, I think I've gotten everything. Unless they get a whole new stock in, um, then I'm in trouble. Then I'm in trouble. Um, and I tried to get, um, I looked for the air freshener that Brenda recommended, um, Soho Social in the glade and i just could not find it it was not at any of the dollar trees i went to none of the three that i went to so this video is super long i'm gonna call this vlog this vlog this haul at an end and i uh, hope you enjoyed seeing a whole bunch of stuff from the dollar tree anyway remember to comment rate subscribe stay tuned for more videos more dollar tree hauls more sent me even everything more vlog a days i will be back join me until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.